Hi everyone, my name is Andy. I'd like to show you a little bit about how to integrate your MATLAB project with the Jenkins MATLAB plugin. So first, if you start with the project in MATLAB, it has some tests that you've written. You can of course interact with those in MATLAB like you are used to doing. But now if you want to integrate those into your CI system, you can do so really easily. First, I'm going to grab the Git details. So this is a stored in a GitHub repository. And once I have those Git details, I can just create a new project from, from, uh, from Jenkins. And it'll, for now, I'm going to create a freestyle project. And in that freestyle project, we're going to first just tell it where our code is. So to point it to the Git repo. And then optionally, um, specify where MATLAB is. Now, on my build agents, MATLAB is on the path, so I don't even need to do that. It just runs. But uh, now I have two commands, run MATLAB command and run MATLAB tests. And it's just as easy to get started to just run MATLAB tests. So I just created a, a run MATLAB test by adding it as a build step, easy as pie. Uh, now uh, we'll run that build and see that it passes. So okay, that's not very interesting, but it, what it did is it ran all the tests and they passed. Let's inject a failure. Um, so here we go, here's just an intentional failure that we've uh, added to this project. I'm going to commit it. And now you'll see that when we run that build as a result of that commit, that it, it now fails. So great, mission accomplished. And you can see the diagnostics from the Jenkins log. However, reading logs isn't the most ideal way to work. So we'd like to configure this to add some artifacts like JUnit and uh, Cobra Terra. Um, in this example, we can just click those that we want to produce those artifacts and then we can use the relevant um, plugins to publish those artifacts to either coverage or test result history and that's all you need to do so now when we rerun the build uh, it will still fail um, but we'll also see uh, more insight via J the reports that we can generate from the JUnit XML um, so that we can narrow down on our tests quicker and also we'll see the coverage information and so there you go. Easy as that just to get going in Jenkins. Now this was using a freestyle project. We'd also like to show how to do this with a uh, pipeline, Jenkins pipeline project by adding a new Jenkins file to your project. You now have a declarative API with MATLAB specific um, tasks such as run MATLAB tests and run MATLAB command to do the same thing. But now you're keeping your configuration in your source control. It's right next to your source and it evolves right with your source as well which has a lot of benefits. So now, there you go, you've run that, and now Jenkins pipelines are ready to go as well. So now I'd like to turn the time over to Mark, who is gonna show you a similar workflow with Azure DevOps in the cloud. Thanks. Thanks, Andy. So over here on my machine, I've got the same MATLAB project Andy was showing, complete with failing tests to illustrate how the test failure displays in our CI system. Like Andy, I'm going to set up a CI system to run the tests and produce reports, but I'm going to use Azure Pipelines instead of Jenkins. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go over to my Azure DevOps org where I've already installed the free MATLAB extension. Here, I can create a pipeline for my project and connect it to my public GitHub repo. Once I do that, you'll see to configure the pipeline, you edit a text file similarly to Jenkins pipeline. There is also a helpful menu over here on the side that lists all the tasks available to, to you through the extensions you've installed. First, I'll add an install MATLAB task since uh, I'm using a public project and a Microsoft hosted agent. This allows the rest of my pipeline to access MATLAB. If you're using a private project and private agent pre-install MATLAB using the standard MATLAB installer while you're setting up your agent. Now I'll add a run MATLAB test task that produces a test results and code coverage report just like Andy did in Jenkins. Finally, I'll add two tasks to publish the reports to the Azure test and code coverage viewers so we can view them through the Azure interface. I want these tasks to run even if a test fails, so I set their condition to always. Now I'll save and run the pipeline. When it finishes, you can see my test results and code coverage report right in the Azure DevOps interface, just like Andy did in Jenkins. 
I'll be sure to fix this failing test before I merge. Thanks for watching.